Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. I hope that you're doing well. I am doing great. I just wanted to come on kind of quickly just to show you my, uh, uh, just give you a kind of like a garden tour of the maturity and the nonsense that I have going on out here because it's a mess. I've got to come out here tomorrow. It won't be today because I'm kind of busy today, but I got to come out here tomorrow and really do some work. It's messy out here. It's not how I like it. I like it neat and everything. Plus, you know, you have to maintain what you're doing out here so that you can, you can produce, um, you know, happy, happy flowers and, uh, you know, peppers <laughs> and things of that nature. Your mustard and your different um, basils and mint and stuff like that so that so that you know things are good so let me show you what I got going on here my mess I just uh, so out of here I think I'm gonna remove this I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is take all my flowers and try to put combine them into something um, I just took this out this was some lettuce but it had become bitter it had been in here so long I didn't harvest it so it's bit was bitter and then you know these are of course uh, marigolds I love marigolds and they also repel insects very uh, the bad insects and stuff like that so I got a lot of marigold going on I started these from seed got a lot of marigolds going on and I'm gonna try to put all the marigolds somewhere and between plants of course um, I need to I think I started I did some but I didn't I need to deadhead this lantana so that it can be uh, bloom more I know you probably can't I don't know if you can tell the color of these but these things turn uh, like uh, this beautiful blue they just don't even look real these look like something fake fake beads or something these are what they start as and then they turn this color this purplish blue metallic color or whatever so this has to be deadheaded i have a little cilantro and parsley down there i don't know if i'm getting that in frame let me show you where it's at so in case you don't know how to identify stuff like me half the time but anyway it's here so this is parsley and cilantro is supposed to be here together i'm going to remove that out of here this whole place is supposed to be my culinary garden, which is where I would normally cook from, but I didn't do it like that this year. Um, but anyway, I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to put them in a pot so that they can start growing on their own. This yellow sweet mini pepper is budding already, and it is fruiting. It's about to, you know, start fruiting already, so I'm glad about that. Um, so this is more marigold that needs to come out and go into something else uh another marigold there's marigold in here and i think this is lavender let me see this could be some i don't know what that is then i got a tomato in here uh i got pepper in here more than one pepper and one more than one tomato more um marigolds more marigolds of course beautiful though as they are i love the french marigolds and I have um, tomatoes in here and different uh, varieties of basils. I have the Genovese's in here, the Thai, and um, the uh, purple basil. I cut back because I, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna say cut back. I harvested them because I use them a lot daily. Hold on. So there's more mess over here. Um, I'm gonna put all of my, um, as far as I can, put all of my basils together and I'm gonna bring some basils in the house. There's basil here. I don't even know how this basil, is this basil in here? Oh Lord, I don't even know how this basil even got in here with this. <laughs> this basil is in here with the lantana. So anyway, uh, this this is so beautiful. This uh, purple basil is so beautiful and so delicious. So I need to take care of that. And I need to untwine, this is my Rondé Denise, but. Um, of course, the pickle uh, cucumbers um, are, you know, finding their way, you know, they vine, so they're finding their way all around. I have three pepper plants. Let me see, well, more than three, but the ones that are maturing, I need to put them either in a bigger container and or add more soil to them. Um, trying to see if this one has... Okay, here's a uh, 
pepper here on that one. Plus it has uh, basil in it. But everything normally has basil in it because the basil, you know, especially with tomato, makes it grow uh, and taste good and whatnot. And there's lots of peppers, tiny, tiny peppers, and all inside of back here and whatnot. More mustards, basil. Put all the basil together. And like I said, uh, try to do something about these uh, peppers so that they can grow better and bigger. Um, and this is da dun 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 dun. This is a mess. This is wild kingdom galore. All of these, um, oh, whose cologne is that? Oh, Lord. These, um, and I have two tomatoes in here. These are my silver slicers, and the lemon cucumber is supposed to be in here. Um, I don't know. Can you see that? Uh, I don't want to get bit. Um, there's a cucumber. That's the silver slicer, if I'm not mistaken. They're kind of white. They're going to be white. And then over here is some more somewhere back here. Mm, all back there. This is, you know, they're in and through there, very tiny. So what I need to do is take, move this untwine it because it it keeps knocking over these tomatoes because it's vining and it's grabbing it and it keeps every time I come out here it's knocking it over plus it don't do any good because it's hanging over anyway because it's so big and bushy and whatnot so I gotta take care of all of these tomatoes this one doesn't do that but these other two man they are out of control so I'm gonna tie uh, first of all I'm gonna take them down every take everything down clean them up you know get some of those you know dead leaves off or you know leaves that you know could be removed remove those then I want to tie them up so that they'll be able to grow up and not impede everyone's way and whatever and I think I'm gonna take my cucumbers because they're over here it seems like they're not doing that well this one is really not doing that great as far as I'm concerned this one is supposed to be um, Actually, I think this is supposed to be um, this one tent thing. I uh, can't remember the name of it right now. But anyway, it's, I don't see any, i do not not sure if I see any fruit on it. But it's a mess. It's tangled. It's a mess. I'm, I'm, I should be ashamed of myself. It's really a mess. So I want to take everything down, like I said. But then I'm going to remove my, my Ronde Denise. I want to put it to the left. And then bring these two cucumbers and put them on the right and uh, of course keep the tomatoes in the center and then I'm gonna tie up them tie this them up because I mean it's just I don't know if you can really tell how this one whole branch is just is out of control it's 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 just out of control it's hanging down it's not staying up um. <laughs> so I had a and it just keeps, it's falling over. And I don't want to come out here and it's on the ground, especially with, look at all of those. It's got plenty of fruit on it, plenty of good fruit. All of them have so much good, good fruit on them. Um, I got a lot of, let me see if I can fix that. I gotta fix that, cause that is gonna fall over. But it got a lot of, a lot of good fruit on all of them, large large ones and small I saw a shape a few minutes ago some of them look like they were going to be the grape tomatoes that I was hoping that I did have um, just lots of uh, lots of tomatoes so I want to take care of that and I need to I put some milk and Epsom salt in these and I'm going to put more feed them more too but I put milk and Epsom salt there were more tomatoes as well more crazy tomatoes um so yeah i'm gonna i need to fix this up again because it looks terrible but there's good fruit i need i'm gonna harvest that today um this can be harvested or i can wait a couple of days for it to get larger i think i'm gonna wait till it gets a little larger but they can be harvested at golf ball size and my finger in here can't even tell golf ball size or you know softball um, and they're still you know they're ready and good so it's about four three or four and they're ready to harvest now so then um, so this is more basil that 
that I'm going to be putting together. This is another basil plant. This is uh, lavender. I'm gonna put this in something. It smells so good. I'm so glad I moved my nasturtium. It is doing so, so well over here in this shade. It was not doing well at first. It was a one or whatever. Now, as soon as I've moved it, they're growing bigger and a more fruit is on them. But that uh, lavender smells so, so beautiful. So, and this is my different okras over here, but honey, I gotta move this. I'm gonna take this out. I actually have an eggplant, and I can't believe it, but I'm gonna hurry up and take it out so that nothing happens to it, uh, because I have been trying to use, uh, grow eggplant for the last two years, and I only had one seed this year. I actually had one seed left, if I'm not mistaken, and I say I'm planting it. And I didn't know if it came forth or not, but here it is. So I'm gonna put that in something separate so that that can um, grow. And uh, let's see, my, uh, this is the, the burgundy okra, which I'm surprised that the, uh, the green okra is not, doesn't have any buds on them I don't think anyway but um so yeah and then this monster right here I, I think I'm gonna sell the, well I'm not gonna sell it I don't have time for that if somebody wanted to come and pick it up that would be one thing this thing is humongous and so out of control it's not even funny it's really out of control this is the tom tomatilio and I haven't seen but one thing that looks like it might be setting fruit otherwise this is taking I'm, uh -uh. It's too big. It needs to go. But it has a, t a couple of tomatoes in it. Uh, there's a, a big old tomato. The tomato is big now. It's tall. The tomato is down inside of here. Uh, I need to remove. Uh, and then it's some basil down, down in there as well. So I'm going to take this out though. I'm just going to have to destroy it. If I don't find anybody between today and, the t and tomorrow morning, by the time I come out here, I'm just gonna destroy it because I can use the planter. Uh, I can use the planter for some, you know, for something else. But I gotta get rid of this. It's not. I mean, of course, probably, you know, maybe if I give it another week, it's probably gonna come forth. But it's so big. It's just, and it's just getting bigger and bigger. And I know it's got a lot of buds on it. Sorry about the um, focus. It's got a lot. It looks like it would be very, very fruitful. But what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to get rid of it, but I'm just going to plant it in the ground and get it out of this pot. And I'm going to put it in the... Oh, oh, B. Hold on, y'all. B. <laughs> oh, don't hurt me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to just put it in the ground. Because it's too much. Uh, it's just too much right here. And then over here... Um, but look at this zinnia. This zinnia is so tall and really taking off. There's some zinnia over in the other plot too. But yeah, they're coming forth though. I love that. They're doing their thing, but I got them in something too, way too small. I might remove them. But my focus is going to be these. Because I don't want to come out here crying one day. You know, I put all of this hard work in and all this prayer and, and whatnot. And then you wind up, you don't have anything to speak of you know what I mean so I don't want that to be my portion that's for sure so uh look how big these are what can you see them they're getting bigger and then there's some smaller ones and whatnot and even more tinier ones coming forth but yeah they need to be really in something bigger but definitely I need more soil in there so I'm just at least gonna put more soil in all the pepper plants um, in all the pepper plants now let me show you what's going on over here I forget a mess it's all of these grapes are falling and whatnot but I'm going to dig up my collards that are over here uh, that are being ate up by what's the jiggum the and the kale the collards and the kale which uh, and I'm going to put them in grow bags. Well, they're not really grow bags. They're going to be those uh, canvas um, grocery bags or, or totes or whatever. I'm just going to put them in those and sit them above ground and see how they do. That Swiss chard over there is doing okay. Sunflower is over here. 
a couple of tomatoes. I put those look. I put those tomatoes in there about this tall, about three, four, five weeks ago or something like that. And they are tall as. Sorry, I gotta swat the bugs, y'all. And I and I'm praying that they not bees. But anyway, um. So yeah, they're getting and getting ready to set fruit. Uh, at least you know they're blooming. You know they uh, setting flowers. So. They're gonna they ready, you know, they're doing their thing. I don't my beans not doing that well, so I'm gonna plant beans and some lettuces. And this is so cool to me. This I don't know what it is, don't ask me. Because I put cucumber, I don't know if it was cucumber. I put watermelons over here, but I, this is not the shape of a watermelon, I don't think. I don't know if this is the cantaloupe. I need to check to see what this leaf, what the cantaloupe leaf look like, but it could just be. I don't know what it is. I put cantaloupe over here, watermelon. Um, I think I put squash over here and cucumber, but I can't remember. So this could be anything, but it's already, I love this. This thing is not even that big, but it's already doing its thing. It's already trying to set fruit, and I'm really happy about that. Froggy says hello. This is the froggy with the flower. This is the one with the dragonfly. <laughs> they said hello. So, and then the bean is, I guess it'll do okay in the cold, you know, once it gets cooler. But my beans always have kind of done well. But anyway, that's probably my fault too. But I'm going to just do a little work over here. So I said I'll plant some more because um, I had um, broccoli and lettuces over here and spinach and um, broccoli, spinach. Uh, lettuces, um, what do you call those? Uh, oh, beets, turnips, and oh, somebody's smelling good. What is that? Um, and stuff like that over here. But I didn't, uh, oh, see, here's another whatever I planted right there. And then a lot of marigolds are in between here also. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So those are some of the the beans and how they're trying to trying to do. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna take do those little things. The uh, peas. Are you throwing cigarettes over here? Peas, beans. Uh, take care of these collards. Uh, do some lettuces. Do some beets, uh, beets, uh, what else, beets and uh, turnips or something, you know, some just a couple of root, root vegetables, stuff that it has time to still grow, but anyway, and then I think this is my, some of my onion, but, uh-oh, I'm going to probably just dig this up tomorrow because I want to see, because I pulled one up in the early in this uh, season, and it was like a tiny uh, uh, bulb on the on the end of it like a uh, like a garlic or uh, onion bulb or whatever but onions normally they come out the ground you know and whatever you can see them but garlic stay under so i don't know what this is but anyway so that's my little hall of shame because i gotta get out here i really neglected to pull things out oh i mean i pull them out but they come back and whatever Um, so yeah, those are some things that I need to do, um, ASAP, so I'll be doing that. I wish I could do it today, and I hope to God that it doesn't get too hot tomorrow, because it has been very, you know, nice out, I, well, I'm not gonna say nice like it wasn't nice, but it has been very, you know, medium weather, not too hot, not too cold, so tomorrow I'm gonna get out here early as possible and get this done. Be praying with me. <laughs> All right, take care now. Love you. Bye-bye for now. And, okay, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, let me encourage you. Make sure you are growing something. And if you're not doing anything this year, then next year. But you can start in your home. You can. I used to grow stuff in my home, tomatoes and peppers and everything. I grew it right inside the house or whatever. So you can do that as well if, you know, that's something that you want to do. But, uh, but it's really good to have your own little 
I mean, it's a lot of work. It's not, you know, it's like a marriage or whatever. It's not a, a you know, light work, especially this year. Um, but anyway, I'm going to let you go. Love you. Bye-bye for now.